think it's important to spend a few minutes walking through the syllabus, but I don't know that that's a great way of spending our first class session together. So I thought I'd record a little video to help you understand the syllabus and some of the, the nuances that are there and things that you should be aware of. So our syllabus, as with the calendar, can be found on my webpage, people.highline.edu slash dwilson. And it looks a little bit like this. So we're, I'm teaching this class, Math 264, using what we're calling remote teaching. That is, every day at 10 a.m., we will meet me coming to you from my Corona Cabana. That's what I'm calling my home office. Uh, we hope always with the same meeting ID of 712-965-5684. This is the same place where you'll find me for office hours um, or if we want to set up appointments. You can also call and leave messages on my work phone, and I'll get those messages at a later date. I'm holding Zoom office hours at 9 a.m. on Mondays and then 11 a.m. after class on Tuesday, Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Most of the material in the class can be found on my website or on my labs, and of course you can email me. This is a new class, as many of you are aware. This is the first time we've offered Math 264, which is a mashup of Math, the old Math 153 and Math 254. Um, so I'm pretty excited about teaching this class for the first time. I think that it'll be really good for you. For those of you that are wondering how is it different than the old, by the time you're done, you'll have finished the exact same sections that everybody under the old system had, uh, had covered, and yet this is just doing it in a new order. All right, so let's go through the class. So our course description is that this is multivariable calculus and includes polar functions, sequences, infinite series, double and triple integrals, and multiple coordinate systems, line and surface integrals, Green's theorem, Stokes' theorem, and the divergence theorem. I just want to point to these last theorems in particular. Um, these are kind of the, the key uh, capstones of the whole class. Um, there's objectives for the class, including constructing graphs, uh, tests for divergence and convergence, double integrals, triple integrals, line integrals, a whole bunch of theorems. We're gonna do some conservative stuff with vector fields and there's a whole bunch of applications here. The text we're going to use is Calculus Early Transcendentals, third edition, not eighth edition, with Briggs, Cochran, Gillette, and Schultz. And I underline Schultz because uh, he's a colleague of mine over at Walla Walla Community College, one of the best guy educators in Mathematica that I know of. Um, and it's, frankly, it's because of his Mathematica work and the amazing ebook that's here that we've chosen this book. The book will be free to you, no extra charge. Um, uh, to, we're trying it out, and if it's good, maybe Highline will adopt it in the future. Prereq is Math 163. Let me know if you have questions about that. Roughly speaking, we're going to cover three chapters in the course, plus a little bit on polar that we've already talked about. Uh, most of the sections will be covered in two class days. A few are, are a little bit shorter. And so in order to maintain this pace, you're just going to have to stay on top of things. And so I would encourage you to read each section, um, like kind of the beginning chunk of each section quickly, skim it in, in its entirety. Just make sure you have an idea of what's coming before we start. I think that'll help you get the most out of our times together. A graphing calculator is recommended probably won't spend very much time talking about it. And frankly, with the multivariable calculus component of this, um, our 84s aren't going to be super helpful. Uh, but we will be using a fair amount of the uh, Mathematica um, CDF player so you can view and mess around with animations, which in Mathematica are called manipulates. The homework for this is through my labs. Um, here's the website. The course ID that you'll need is Wilson41568 really important, do not pay. You can request temporary access to get going, but do not pay. We've got a free trial of this, and the goal is for you to be able to try this out and give me your feedback and tell me what you think. Um, I will, you can accept, or do multiple attempts on questions, just like you probably have had in the past. Uh, there isn't a bonus for early work, that's just not an option that's in my labs, but late work is always accepted and you don't have to go through that whole rigmarole about requesting extensions. There's not a lot of online quizzes, but there's a few. Uh, right here at the beginning, we'll have some kind of in the way of um, basic prerequisite checks, and then there's some, some quizzes and assessments at the end of the chapters to see how you're doing and understanding and putting everything together. We're going to have weekly assessments, and I'll post a subsequent video specifically about that. 
the main thing I want to add at this point is that um, this is a crazy time and place. And so should you find yourself um, having health issues or family issues that are causing you to have a hard time keeping up with class, please just keep me posted. Um, and I'd be happy to work with you as, as best we can to try to help you be successful in this class. And so keep up with it. This should be fun. This should be really good. Um, but I also recognize this is a strange time and place we are at in history. There's a small part of the grade that's tied to participation. And um, this will probably be tied to videos or readings that I'll ask you to give me some feedback on for Fridays. And then there'll be an optional discussion for those that want to talk about those later. And again, I will have a, uh, a video about those discussions later. There is, I should add that there is one assignment which I call the intro survey that's due today. And it's designed so that you can um, use it to test out the grade scope software, which I'm going to use to collect your handwritten work. More on that later. We're going to have a comprehensive final of some sort, but frankly, that's so far down the road, I'm not going to worry about the details yet. Let's see if we can figure out how to start the class, and then we'll later on we'll figure out how to end it. In terms of the grade, 15% of the grade is in homework, 5% in quizzes, 2% in participation. We've got our weekly assessments that are worth 50%, and the balance of 28% is in the final. 95% is a 4.0, 70% is a 2.0, and that's most of what there is to say. I'm gonna skip over this section about assessments and come back to that later. In terms of attendance, I just wanna remind you that you're responsible for all the material covered in the class. Uh, that would be our, week, our daily Zoom meetings. And then also, um, uh, you can also talk to a friend or ask questions if you miss something. Uh, there will be tutoring available through Zoom. Some of you are probably tutors and are gonna be doing that. That's pretty cool. If you have questions about advising, please talk to me. If, I'm not quite sure what it would look like, but there's honors options available if you um, are thinking you're going to be in the 3.5 GPA range. Please don't cheat. Let's work together and, uh, and I'll learn. If you have questions about this class, speak to me. Let me know. In case of an emergency, please evacuate your house. The exits are two to the front, two to the side, and two to the back. Um, lots of policies for the school and kind of the important date, dates and deadlines to know are April 10th for full tuition refund, April 17th, the last day to drop without a W, and April 29th, the last day to drop with a W. So that's a little bit about the syllabus. I hope that helps you understand how the class is put together. And as you read it, you understand some of the things that are important. Uh, please look for a subsequent video on how the assessments are put together. Take care, and I hope you are enjoying this kickoff to multivariable calculus.